Hi, boys and girls. It's nice to see you today. I can't wait till Sunday till I can see you in person. Today, we're going to talk about prayer. What is prayer? Does anyone know? Can you think about what prayer is? Hmm. Prayer is talking to God. Just like we like to talk to our friends or our family, we should want to talk to God too. When we want to have a relationship with someone, that means have a friendship with someone, we have to talk to them. I mean, think about it. If you really want to be a friend and you really want to meet someone new at school and you never talk to them, can you be friends? Think about it. You stare at them on the playground. You see them at lunch. You might even ride the bus with them, but you never speak. Can you call them a friend? Will they call you their friend or just someone that they see? Friendship requires us to communicate. It requires us to talk to each other. Talking to people is important. We make sure that we can call and talk to others whenever we want to. Right now, it's a little difficult to talk to our friends, but we still make time to do it. In fact, right now, we use our phones and our computers. Some people have Zoom meetings, all so we can talk to people, so we can see their faces, so we can text each other, and we can build relationship through friendship, through communication. If talking to people is so easy, and we do it all the time, why is it sometimes hard to spend time talking to God? It seems like we forget, or maybe we don't make time to pray and talk to God. Remember, we communicate with God through prayer. So why is it important to talk to God? Well, I've got a few ways. Number one, God wants us to know him better. We get to know him better through prayer. Number two, God really does answer prayer. He really does. God says in Matthew 21, verse 22, that if you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Number three, God shows us how much he loves us through prayer. Philippians 4, verse 6 says, do not be anxious about anything, but through everything, pray and give thanksgiving and let your requests be known to God. God shows us he loves us through prayer. And number four, we show God how much we love him through prayer. In 2 Chronicles 7, 14, it says, If my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear them from heaven and forgive their sins and their lands. See, God hears us when we pray. God shows us how much he loves us when we pray. Sometimes we feel like God really isn't hearing us. Maybe we feel like God isn't answering us. Sometimes we feel like we've prayed for something for so long, for days and days, maybe even for years and years, and we don't see anything happening. Let me show you what our prayers do when we continue to pray. Here's my experiment today. It's just a clear jar. It's actually full of oil. Can you see it shaking around? The oil is called baby oil, so it's just clear oil. And then I've got two colors in here, a red color and a blue color. So the oil is what happens when we pray. That's God listening to us. And the colors, one is me and one is a friend. So God tells us in Matthew 28, 19 that we should pray. In fact, here I am, I'm gonna put some of my prayers in and I'm talking to God. See the oil drips bubble? Isn't it cool how when I drop this red color in, it's just lots of circles. I'm gonna do some more. So I'm praying and I'm praying. I'm all by myself praying. And then if I read in Matthew 28, verse 19 and through 20, it says, I'm sorry, Matthew 18, verse 19 and 20, it says, again, here is what I tell you. Suppose two of you on earth agree about anything you ask for. So here's the second person is blue. I was red. My friend is blue. Now we're praying together. We're praying, we're praying. See all those bubbles of prayer going in? They stay in perfect circles. My friend and I are praying together. So now I've got two colors inside the oil. God's listening to two of us at the same time. It says, where two or three people gather in my name, I am there with you. So this represents two colors. Can you see the two colors? I'll even pick some up with my spoon and show you. I can pick them up like this. Oops, I dropped them. Stir them in, see them? 
there's two colors in there. Even when you start around, you can see the two colors. So now when we continue to pray and we pray and we pray and we pray and we pray together, watch what happens. I'm going to begin to stir. And as I stir, the pieces get smaller and smaller. Can you see how little the bubbles are in the side of the jar? First, they were only big. Now they're smaller and smaller. It's they're getting more and more and more. So the prayers aren't disappearing. They're actually multiplying. I'm going to add some more prayers. So here's my friend praying. And here's me praying alongside them. We're praying for the same thing. And we're expecting God to answer our prayers. And God is listening and our prayers are multiplying. The little bubbles are getting smaller and smaller. Now, do you see what's happening when God hears our prayers, our prayers multiply. If I stir it up, you can see them multiplying. Look how little they're getting. Isn't that amazing? So cool. Now, if we pray and we pray and we pray together for a long time, and I keep stirring, now you can see that there are some red and some blue and some are purple. See, God is answering our prayer. He's changing my will and my prayer, and he's changing my friend's will and my friend's prayer into the same thing. So now we're believing what God has for us. You can even see some that are turning purple right on my spoon. Isn't that cool? If I keep stirring and I'm praying and I'm praying and I'm praying, oh my goodness, it looks like a tornado. Now look, they're all changed to the same color. Slowly our will and our prayers change into what God has for us. So that's what happens when we pray together. God answers our prayers and he answers them in the ways we didn't expect. Instead of answering the ways that I expected or the ways that my friend expected, he answered them in the way that he wanted. So my prayers have been answered. You see, he changed my thoughts and my friend's thoughts into his plan, into a new color. We made the color purple in this one. Now, how should we pray? Let me tell you. There are th four things I think we need to do when we pray. First, we should give thanks to God. A lot of times we fold our hands, we say, Dear Jesus. And then the next things we should do is we should be thanking him, giving him praise for the things that he has given us. We can sit, tell him, thank you for what I've done today. Thank you for my mom. Thank you for something that you have. But we should be giving God thanks. The second thing we should do in our prayer is ask for forgiveness. That's a hard one, especially when you're praying around other people. You might not want to admit all of your sins in front of others. But when you're praying by yourself, you definitely should ask God to forgive you for individual things you have done wrong. The third thing and the next thing is ask for what we need. Now, did you hear that? Did asking for what we need come first? No. In our prayers, first is ask is tell God thank you. Second is ask for forgiveness. And third is ask God what we, for what we need. We could pray for others. We could pray for ourselves. We could pray for people to be saved. We could pray for God to help us from temptation. We could pray for people to be healed. All the things that we want God to do. That's what we do third. For thanks, forgiveness, and what we need. And last, we praise God. Last, we let God know that we believe that he will answer our prayers. We say in Jesus' name. That means, God, we love you, and God, we are being honoring you through our prayer. When we say amen, we're saying, I agree with the things that I said. Lord, please make these things happen. Those are the things we do in our prayer. We give thanks, we ask for forgiveness, we ask God for what we need, and we remember to praise him in all things. In 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 16 through 18, it says, rejoice always, pray without stopping, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Jesus Christ. God wants us to pray for everything, all the time, without stopping. Does that mean you could pray in your car? Does that mean you could pray in your house? What about when you're in line for Chick-fil-A? Or when you're at school or in your bedroom? You can pray no matter where you are and you can pray for everything. And each time we pray, we're building our relationship, our friendship with the Lord. We're getting closer to God because we're communicating, we're talking to him. Just like our friends, if we only talked to them one time and never said another word to them, would we really be that good of friends? It's the same with God. If we only pray every day, one time for our lunch, 
or one time for our dinner, are we really getting to know him and growing in relationship with him? God wants us to pray in all things, and he wants us to pray with other people so that as we pray, he answers our prayers. And not only does he answer them, but he also changes our needs and our will, and he changes it to his will. He makes something new and mighty as we pray together. Boys and girls, I can't wait to see you again. I'm hoping soon we get to pray together in person. Let's pray right now and ask for God for healing. Heavenly Father, God, today we praise your name. God, we give thanks um, to you, Lord. We thank you for time with our families. God, we thank you for extra time to play outside. God, we thank you for less schoolwork during this time. God, all the things that you have done for us in the past couple of weeks. God, we ask for forgiveness for um, sins that we committed. God, I ask for forgiveness for the things I have done. And God, most of all, I ask for what I need right now, God. I pray that you will heal the people that are sick. God, stop germs from spreading. God, let us see how important it is to talk to you. And God, bring us back together as friends. God, we thank you for the things that you have done. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I can't wait to see you on Sunday. Don't forget on Sunday that we're still having our normal lesson on Sunday, our new normal, on Sunday morning online. And then at 1045, you can come to church and do drive through Easter. You can pray and see the cross, and I even might have you a treat. I'll see you later. Bye.